Hi guys, welcome to another PicoPix Max review video. Now this one we're going to look at some of your requests uh, and also look at some of the features that come with the most recent update uh, from, from Philips. So in short, we're going to look at Chromecast from PC. We'll look at the app, uh, the YouTube app with sign in, some of the color appearances in different mode and sharpnesses that they uh, said they have enhanced and looking at Steam Link installation. Let's first look at Chromecasting from PC. Now here I have a double screen here. I added it. Uh, so the small screen is a main screen captured from my laptop and I navigate to a Wikipedia website and successfully cast it into PicoPix Max. Now there is this looks like there is a small lag and the small lag between my computer screen and the screen projected on PicoPic Mass is because of my internet speed. So I don't have the best internet speed available uh, in the world unfortunately. So later on I'm I was trying to uh, cast different screen onto PicoPic Pix Max and looks like I wasn't able to do it. I'm going to show you that effect in another uh, shot that is dedicated from the computer screen. Now here it's a view from my laptop. So I use the software to capture my screen. I was showing you uh, the original screen is that I was navigating through Wikipedia website. And in the Chrome browser, I click the left hand, uh, right hand corner and choose cast. Now it's showing up uh, on my screen there the PicoPix Max is available so I was I cast it to my PicoPix Max with the, the tab okay but then I try to cast other medias unfortunately uh, there was nothing uh, changed from that sense um, and you can see that in my earlier sections of the video okay here again, I'm trying to, to navigate again. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong in a sense, because uh, I keep trying to do, uh, try to do the same function while I was testing it. Right, so I ended this. So in short, uh, I was able to cast my browser through the Chromecast to PicoPix Max through this Chromecasting. But unfortunately, I was not able to cast the desktop and any other media through the uh, Chrome browser. So uh, let me know if I'm doing something wrong because that really is the extent that I can do. Another thing is that this type of a casting really depends on your home internet speed. If your speed is not great, uh, there will be some lag and also the quality of the image projected on the, uh, on the pro uh, projector, it's really not that great. Again, this all depends on your speed. You have, to, you have a good speed, good network system, great. If you don't, I don't think that is a good idea to cast wirelessly. Now let's take a look of the new YouTube app that came with this update. So this YouTube app uh, come with a sign in function. So going in there, there is looks like there is different mode you can launch this YouTube. Uh, so there's a regular mode and some of the limited number format. I don't exactly know what it means. So basically I ended up choosing the most regular mode that is available on there. So once you click into the app it prompts you do you want to connect like a smart youtube tv and things like that i kind of just skipped it for this process and click sign in with the web browser so i've skipped one screen once you click into the web browser sign in uh, it will prompt you a code i don't know if that code is unique or what so i'm not showing to you guys um that will prompt you that code and you go to your phone or your computer uh, go into YouTube sign in and you can register your device along with your YouTube account and you can sign in uh, very easily. 
So once you sign into the app, um, it prompts you all your your um, interest video, your recommended video, things that you've been watching, and you can navigate through the sidebar there and look at uh, different options you have with this app. So this app uh, overall is quite functional uh, that it's uh, tied into your own YouTube account. Now let's look at the color appearances. So Philips does uh, mention in their update email saying that uh, the color does look more vibrant at least in the energy saver mode and in the normal mode but not in the presentation mode. So let's see how that looks in this case. So I started off at a normal mode. Um, you can see the color that is showing on the screen. And then I changed to energy saver mode. And then back and forth between presentation mode. And you notice that um, the energy saver mode and the normal mode, the color does look more vibrant than the presentation mode. Another changes that come with this update is the sharpness. Alright, Philips does say that the sharpness can now be enhanced to 100% and it looks very, very sharp. Well, let's take a look into in terms of the still picture, look at the background, see how that changed. So the first picture showing you is at the presentation mode, while uh, in terms of the brightness and the sharpness is at 50%. So you can see the edges are a little bit more smooth, more rounded in a sense. This second picture shows you at the same presentation mode, but at 100% sharpness. Now you can definitely, in comparison, you can see how uh, the edges become more uh, rough uh, or crisp it depends on how you look at it but i think it's a little bit too much 100 um, percent you may want to increase to uh, your sharpness to you know somewhere in the middle ground between seven uh between 50 and 100 percent anywhere that you prefer here is another angle using energy saver mode and uh, I used my iPhone to take those two pictures. Now in terms of the text, uh, you can really see the differences between 50% sharpness and 100% sharpness. Uh, the text does look very kind of bolded out in a way. Uh, so now let's take a look of the sharpness in terms of the motion pictures. So this time I, use, I hook up my uh, Blu-ray uh, DVD player with HDMI to the PicoPix Max and I play the same little short clip uh, in different setting. Now here we are at the normal uh, lightning mode and you, it's kind of hard to really see the differences through the, the eyes of the camera um, but in reality I do see the image edges are a little bit more uh, again bolded out in the 100% sharpness and a little bit more soft in the 50% sharpness. So again, I think it really depends on your personal preference. If you want something that is kind of standard out or kind of more blend in into the screen, uh, maybe like I said, uh, somewhere in the middle between 50 and 100, you just have to tune it out to your own preference in a way. Now lastly for today, uh, we're going to look at the Steam Link uh, app installation. So one of you guys uh, want to see if Steam Link is compatible on PicoPix Max. Now Steam Link is a um, app that can cast uh, some of your computer gaming screen to your Android devices from what I understand. Now I don't have a uh, actual Steam account, I don't have any games uh, to really test the functionality of it. But in terms of the installation, going through your uh, USB drive, um, uh, it worked kind of uh, flawlessly. So it installed very well and it seems to be running uh, at least to a screen that prompt me to uh, link to my computer or link to my uh, Steam Link account. So in, to, in that extent, Steam Link is working. In conclusion for today's video, I was able to use the Chrome browser to wirelessly cast 
the browser content to the PicoPix Max, but unfortunately I was not able to cast the desktop or the media. Now I don't know if it is my computer's problem or if it's my uh, internet speed is too slow. I'm not able to verify uh, in that regard. Uh, in terms of the sharpness increase or enhancement uh, in this update, now the 100% sharpness does look very different than the 50%. Now it really depends on your preference to adjust that sharpness to uh, whichever level you like. In terms of the color enhancements, the color does, does look more uh, vibrant in the normal and energy saver mode compared to the presentation mode as promised by the Philips. And uh, lastly, I was able to um, install the Steam Link through USB and the YouTube app that come with the sign in. Uh, not much surprise in that regard, it works pretty well. Okay, so this is all I have for you guys today in this video. If you have more questions or comments, uh, please don't hesitate to leave down the comment in the uh, in the boxes down below. And if you would like to have more instant update on the PicoPix Max, please subscribe to my channel. And I'd like to thank you for all uh, for watching this clip, and um, see you next time.